द ॲडव्हेंचर बाय जयंत नार्लीकर अ चॅप्टर फ्रॉम हॉर्न बेल इफ यू फाईन दिस व्हिडिओ स्लो प्लीज गो टू द सेटिंग्स अँड इन्क्रीज द स्पीड द स्टोरी ॲडव्हेंचर बिलॉंग्स टू सायन्स फिक्शन सायन्स फिक्शन डील्स विथ imaginative concepts in science and technology like space flight time travel and extraterrestrial life the narrative style is unconventional as it is a mixture of history and science the first part of the chapter deals with the parallel world professor gai tonde a historian is traveling in the jija mata express that is the name of a train he is on his way to bombay from pune on its journey the train crosses various stations while the train is racing ahead The professor's mind is also thinking about a plan of action. He thinks about what he would do in Bombay. He would go to a big library and go through history books. Later, he would return to Pune and have a talk with Rajendra Pandey. who would help him in understanding the events after crossing a long tunnel the train stopped at a small station an anglo indian ticket checker went through the train checking tickets a person named khan sahib started talking to him and then he informed him that this was the place from where the british raj began gangadhar pant was going to bombay for the first time he was going to give a lecture on the implications of the catastrophe theory in the third battle of panipat word carriage means a rail car or a train union jack means the national flag of the united kingdom as the train moved on he saw some blue carriages that had the letters gbmr on the side khan sahib explained that its full form was greater bombay metropolitan railway every carriage had the british national flag painted on the side that was an indication that he was in the pre independent bombay hence he was in british territory as the train stopped at the victoria terminus he noticed that the station was very neat and clean he saw anglo indians parsees and some british officers working as the staff when he walked out of the station he saw a very huge building he was shocked to see it as it was the headquarters of the east india company the history books said that the east india company had wound up just after the events of 1857 wound up means that its rule had ended yet the company was alive and flourishing which means doing well Bombay was not what he had expected to find. He saw a different set of shops and office buildings. He entered the Forbes building and asked the receptionist for Mr. Vinay Gaitonde. 
she searched through various lists like the telephone list staff list and the directory of employees but unfortunately she could not find that name listed anywhere a blow means a shock this information was a shock for him but he had expected it he decided to go to the library of the asiatic society to find answers to all these questions to his relief he was able to find the library at the town hall he asked for a number of history books in which his own book that is the one that he had written was included as the five volumes arrived he started reading them one by one The first volume was up to the period of Ashoka. The second volume was up to Samudra Gupta. The third volume was up to Muhammad Ghori. The fourth volume was up to the death of Aurangzeb. Till this point of time there was no change in history. It was as we know it. So he understood that the change had taken place in the last volume he read the fifth volume very carefully till he identified the exact point of time from where history had taken a different turn the word converged means to get closer and closer precise near the truth accurate events had taken a different course after the battle of panipat the marathas had won the battle not lost it i would like to explain that at this point the professor was in an unconscious state where he experienced another world a strange world where history was different from how we know it in the real world rooted means defeated triumphant means having won a battle victorious we are going to talk about the real world in the third battle of panipat afghans had defeated marathas after killing their leader vishwas rao but in the parallel world marathas had won the war handsomely which means with a huge margin Ahmed Shah Abdali was defeated and chased back to Kabul. The Maratha army was led by Sada Shiv Rao Bhau and his young nephew Vishwas Rao. Blow by blow account means a detailed account. This book did not give a detailed account of the battle. It elaborated on the power struggle in India. Avidly means with great interest or enthusiasm the professor read the book with great interest there was no doubt that he had written it because it was his own style of writing yet it seemed as if he was reading it for the first time morale booster means anything that increases morale or confidence supremacy means state of being superior to others when the marathas emerged victorious in the battle it increased their morale and confidence in establishing their supremacy all over the country the word shelled means decide not to proceed with a plan it also put a halt to the plans of the east india company regarding expansion in india relegated to means assigned to a lower rank this victory resulted in making bhau sahib and vishwas rao more powerful dada sahib was assigned to a lower rank and finally he retired from politics this may means disappointment acumen means the ability to make good judgments valor is bravery or courage rivals or opponents 
The East India Company could not expand its rule in India due to the strong leadership of the new Maratha ruler. Their influence was also limited to some small areas near Bombay, Madras and Calcutta. European ri- European rivals refers to other countries like France and Portugal that were also trying to gain control over India. Puppet regime, a ruling system where the real power is in some other hand and the ruler is like a puppet. De facto means actual or real. Astute means wise. The Peshwas kept the Mughal rule alive for political reasons. The Mughals were like puppets. They did not have the actual power. The Peshwas had the real power and they were wise enough to give importance to the technological age that was taking birth in Europe. This was seen as an opportunity by the East India Company to extend its influence. So, it offered help in technological expertise. In the 20th century, India moved towards democracy. Enterprise means organization. Transition means change. Wielded is employed. Rubber stamp refers to approving without proper consideration. Recommendations means advice. The Delhi Sultanate was able to survive even after so much change because it didn't have any real power. The Peshwas lagged organization, so democratically elected bodies replaced them. The Shahanshah only followed the advice of the central parliament. Subjected means under someone's control. Retain means continue to have. Lease is a contract of control for a specified time. Treaty is an agreement. Gangadhar Pant started appreciating this India. It had not been controlled by the Britishers. It had not fallen into slavery. It had kept its self-respect intact. The British continued to have possession over Bombay, but only for commercial reasons. Witnessed means saw. He started comparing the India he knew with the India he saw. But one question was still bothering him. He wanted to know how the Marathas had won the battle. He started going through books and journals till he came across a book named Bhau Sahibanchi Bakar. Bakar is a form of historical narrative written in Marathi prose. They are considered to be valuable resources depicting the Maratha view of history, but have also been criticized for falsification of facts. Doctored accounts means manipulation of accounts. Hence, Gangadhar Pant did not rely on the Barkers as the historical facts. Yet, it was the Barker in which he came across the description of an incident that shed light on the truth. Mele refers to a confused crowd of people. A commotion brushed past means to quickly pass by and lightly touch someone. Tonde read that the bullet passed Vishwas Rao by a tiny difference. He remained alive and that changed the entire course of events. 
This small difference led to the Marathas winning of the battle. A crucial event can change the course of history. Here, the bullet hitting or missing the leader made a huge difference. Emerge means come out. As the librarian reminded the professor that it was closing time, he came out of his thoughts. Shoved means hurriedly put. As he left the table, he hurriedly put some notes into his right pocket. He didn't realize that he had put the parker in his left pocket. So students, this is the end of part 1. Please watch the part 2 also for the complete understanding of the lesson. It is advisable that you open your books in front of you as you study from this lesson. If you like this video lesson, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.